Well, I'm Michael Mike, and on today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to put your tracks on their own individual, individual channel. All right, so we want to do that so we'll be able to EQ them, compress them, and have more control, run buses, and set this up professionally. All right, enough of that talking. Let's get ready. All right, so one of the first things that you want to do is you come over here, you hit your channel rack. All right, the next thing you'll want to do is you want to come over here and number these one this is what this is for this one uh is my sub base it'll go to channel two this one go to channel three this four this one here five this one here six okay also what you want to do at this point is you see how they say attack kick what you want to do is right click and go to rename and then just put kick this is my sub base. I have to put sub and all of that because the reason why I'm telling you if I don't do this, then um, when I get ready to export the stems or go in to get them mixed or mastered, then the people when they get them, they're not going to know what these sounds are. They know they kicks, but that's just being more professional about them. And on top of that, you want to color them. So you just right click. Uh, you can go to change color right here because they drums. I use a lighter green. Okay, and the sub, I color it a darker green. Okay, now you can color them individually like I did, or you can highlight and drag down. But you have to go to this arrow, go down to color selected, choose gradient, and then choose that light color green it's right here. And that makes it because this is a sub, and the green is the regular drums, and this brown here is for synth. Instead of writing that, I would write synth and hi-hat, just plain and simple. After you have did these things, what you want to do is you want to left click and drag down or just double click, either one. You want to come over here to the mixer channel. You want to right click, all right, and route channels from selected channels starting from this track, the bottom one, all right. Now, once you did that, all the tracks are individual. Now, um, I previously got up something on here. I'm just going to fill them out so uh, to let you see how this the individual channels. All right. Only have something on the keyboard right now. So I'm going to fill it up. kick up Line, I'm just gonna copy, kick, paste it to the base, play this back. Okay, there's a problem with this because this is too low and we need to go up some. Uh, take it up one more octave. Hold control and up. Let's see what this do.
now when we come over here to the mixer, you can see they all on their own individual channel and then you can EQ them or do whatever you need to them to make them come out um, a lot more better all right so that's basically how you color and assign your channels to different tracks all right thank you this is Michael Mike I have more tutorials come out please hit the subscribe button or the notification button therefore you'll know when my next video is going out if you're a producer then want to become uh, an engineer or beat maker want to graduate from that to a producer to an engineer all you have to do is watch my channel and I'll show you everything it is to know this is Michael Mike and I'm out